Speaker. Le président. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. Please be seated. The court is now back in session. Just now, there was a request uh, to the chamber uh, to clarify the procedure for presenting the documents before en vue this chamber. Des éclaircissements sur les modalités applicables to be precisely clear, to all parties involved pour que tout following soit bien clair, the deliberation of the à des parties, judges of the bench, la chambre a délibéré, the chamber wishes uh, to advise the party et elle informe in relation les parties, to the objection as well as the uh, les submission of documents to be put before the chamber and the chamber wishes to hand over to Judge uh, Civil Cartwright uh, to Cartwright qui va provide guidance uh, to all parties in respect of this matter. I now sujet. hand over to Judge Cartwright. Je vous en prie. La juge Thank Cartwright. you, President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The Chamber notes that there are La two matters uh, on which uh, it um, needs to give guidance to the parties. These two topics are discussion of the admissibility of documents de and separate and independent from that is the presentation of key documents. La présentation des documents the Chamber's guidance refers first and solely to admissibility et and then I will move to issues concerning key documents. Et Des principaux documents. The Chamber notes that um, the OCP and the lead co-lawyers have made oral submissions on objections orales to the admissibility of documents. It notes also that Yang Sari has um, responded orally, Sari uh, but that counsel for him has referred to the making of Mais submissions in writing. Que de la de uh, avait the Chamber would like uh, Mr. Carnavas to confirm, uh, now if that's practicable, uh, if the si written submissions présent, are a si reference to the annex to the email circulated today. La pièce Mr. Carnavas. Well, thank you. Uh, it, it deals Merci. both with the annexes that the prosecution submitted à la fois les from yesterday's presentation hier par and, of course, what was circulated by us this afternoon, avons fait which, of course, we are in the process of double-checking now nous en in light of the remarks that were made, uh, and des remarques uh, decisions qui ont été that have been taken. Des, des, can I further clarify then how much time would you need to finalize this process? Pour, uh, uh, well, in light of what we heard this afternoon, uh, we're in the process now of double checking. Nous we, en train de uh, tout we thought we had checked everything. Nous Obviously, we missed some things. So, so we think that by tomorrow we should be able to, to Demain, have that completed. Principe, we do have fini. one. Uh, one issue that is unclear, for instance, it was mentioned that clair. Judge Laverne showed a document to a witness and nobody objected. Le juge well, Laverne avait montré un document à respect, témoin et personne n'avait fait d'objection, mais en toute documents différence, documents on ne peut pas and contester course, le juge Laverne is, quand il présente un document à un témoin. Et la question qui se pose est de savoir ce qui se pose, ce qui se passe à ce document. Quand il passe d'une côte à une autre, est-ce qu'il se trouve dans une zone indéterminée à laquelle il faut demander qu'il soit jugé recevable Quel est ce statut de ce document En tout cas, nous espérons avoir et hopefully uh, a proper annex 
by tomorrow. Une annexe well, the, um, remaniée uh, I know that demain. that's a rather La subtle juge. way of uh, saying you wish to object to the document. Um, please deal with that in your written um, uh, comments, uh, please, Mr. Carnavas. Uh, and the Chamber would like to um, take this opportunity of thanking you for the work that you have put in and the preparation that you have done to be ready to make your oral presentations and respond thus far. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you, but, uh, Judge Carrick, we, there is a, Mais, Madame la juge, I may not necessarily want to object to a document, mm -hmm. but we're, the, 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 I think the, uh, the Kyosampan team has filed submissions as to what becomes of the document. It, once it's shown, either by a judge or by a party si to, a, to, to a particular witness, un un témoin, are we to assume that the document, is a, or at least a portion that was shown, already admitted, or is there a a still a need for the party to move for the admission of that document? Demander if it comes from a judge, si cela obviously, est fait par un juge, the presumption is that the judge wants the document in. Obviously, the presumption is that the judge wants the document in. Obviously, the presumption is that the judge wants the document in. the presumption is that the judge wants the document in. And if I may, and I hope that I'm not uh, testing your patience, ne pas but votre at the ICTY, for instance, simply because you showed a document to si a witness, that document would témoin, not necessarily cela come in. Pas nécessairement dire que one would sera still have recevable. to make an application. Il faut une fasse une and normally, only the portion that was shown, seul qui a été and au if témoin, you wanted other portions, you would have to make some sort of a submission as to why those other portions were not shown or why they're deemed necessary. So it's a little bit unclear, so if the trial chamber did not give us an answer today, but at least notify us so we are aware in the future of how to deal with those documents. I certainly don't feel like standing up and objecting to a document that the judge Laverne is submitting, although I am tempted at times, but be that as it may, you know, I think the judge is entitled to ask whatever questions, however objectionable I may find it to be. But that's, that's their prerogative. Si it doesn't necessarily mean that the judge is not cognizant of the fact that they may be asking a question that perhaps que presses the limits juge as to whether it should be an appropriate question or not. But des questions. I'm speaking from well, my own system. I, I, voilà, I, I, see, um, I, I think we see your uh, various, uh, various points here, here Mr. Mr. Carnavas. However, we're dealing now Mais with objections to the admissibility of documents. documents. Uh, and uh, if no objection is made si to a document presented by a judge, then that is the end of that juge. issue. So eh bien, uh, la responses la are a different matter. La um, question, so I hope la, la that that uh, assists you to some degree. It, it does. It does. Thank you. J'espère que cela vous aide, Maître Carnavas. Uh, well, um, Mr. Carnavas, uh, uh, you certainly have until tomorrow to finalise the written portion. And as I said, the chamber is grateful to, the, to you for the work that you have put in. Vos écrits now, et the la next issue votre travail. on objections to admissibility of, of documents is this. Uh, the um, Kirsampon and Nguyen Chia teams La have both de indicated uh, their Nguyen unreadiness to uh, make oral uh, submissions. À faire des observations. Uh, objecting to the admissibility of any documents. Now, we do note that uh, their respective clients have been hospitalized in the last week. However, uh, and moreover, that the trial chamber brought forward the date for dealing uh, with these um, uh, objections to the admissibility of documents. Uh, nonetheless, this has been an issue available um, since December of last year, uh, and so the chamber has decided that um, the Kyosampan and Nguyen Chia teams may file de de uh, de any objections they Chia have to the admissibility of documents, documents in writing ce, by Friday the 8th of February. février. Uh, all parties will then have the opportunity Ensuite, to respond by Friday the 22nd of February. The Chamber will then uh, Ensuite, make its decision concerning uh, objections to the admissibility of documents, documents uh, 
and that will conclude this process. Et ainsi sera épuisée la question. The dates are Kyo Sampon and Nunchia teams by the 8th of February. For the defense of Kyo Sampon and Nunchia, the delay is the 8th of February. And all parties may respond by the 22nd of February. Is that right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We now move to the second independent topic, which is the presentation of key documents. The Chamber would um, like to remind the parties of the purpose of the hearings which have been dedicated uh, to the presentation of documents considered to be of particular relevance to a specific segment of the trial. Uh, the first is that it gives the parties the opportunity to uh, uh, emphasize documents that they consider to be important to their respective cases. Uh, and the second uh, purpose, uh, which also uh, answers the Kyo Sampan's defence uh, concerns articulated uh, earlier, uh, uh, is that um, the hearings are dedicated to the presentation of documents and are de aimed to ensure a greater measure of public accessibility to the documentary aspect of the trial, meaning this gives a chance for the public to hear a summary of what Autrement these dit, key le documents a are about, de la and further de ces giving documents. an opportunity autre, to those parties who seek it to highlight for the Chamber Key documents can be considered, as I have already said, to be particularly important to specific segments of the trial. Whenever a document is presented by any party as part of this hearing, the accused will also be permitted to comment on the document if they choose to do so. And I refer, for example, to Memorandum E170. E170, en date du 9 février 2012. La Chambre relève qu'à plusieurs reprises, certains accusés ont décliné de faire observation sur les documents qui étaient présentés au cours de ces audiences, soutenant qu'ils avaient l'intention d'exercer leur droit de garder le silence. While no discussion on the admissibility of documents presented documents during this stage is, is um, uh, to be allowed, uh, unless um, the issue of admissibility si has not previously been discussed or ruled upon, it's clear that the Chamber has Il never presented the, prevented the accused or their lawyers from discussing the relevance or the probative value of the documents. Des documents. It's been indicated on a number of occasions, for example, CE 233, paragraph 3, and I dans quote, CE 233, paragraph 3, the time cite, allocated to the defence includes la the opportunity comprend l'occasion donnée aux accusés lorsqu'on leur demande en effet de faire observation sur tout document présenté ou ayant été produit précédemment devant la Chambre au cours du segment concerné du procès. Ceci correspond en général à l'objectif des audiences relatives à la présentation des documents principaux. La Chambre Relève OCP has que le bureau des coprocureurs uh, process, a entamé uh, and ce that processus the lead co -lawyers have et que les co-avocats principaux ont indiqué qu'ils seraient uh, prêts à faire leur propre uh, présentation in order to, uh, prochainement. Clarify pour uh, the procedure in relation préciser to key la procédure applicable concernant les principaux documents Et ce, à it seems most efficient, given the um, uh, inability of um, 
some of the parties to, uh, uh, ne sont be pas ready en mesure to present their key documents de présenter leurs principaux documents car elles ne sont pas prêtes. La meilleure façon de procéder consiste à demander aux coprocureurs de poursuivre leur propre présentation concernant les transferts de population phase 1 and to portray et sur tout le portrait ensuite concernant le transfert de population. Phase uh, the et sa phase 2. Nous demanderons ensuite aux procureurs principaux pour les parties civiles Uh, to uh, make their own presentations on those topics. Propre présentation sur ces sujets. That leaves then the question of joint criminal voilà enterprise en and the roles de of the accused. Le rôle des and uh, I think, President, we were going to propose that those topics be presented also by OCP if they are de ready to do so, sur ces sujets, sont prêts uh, and the lead co-lawyers. That then gives the um, defence teams ample time uh, to be ready de by when we resume these hearings on the presentation of key documents, ainsi, nous and the Chamber will expect them to be ready to present their prêt, key documents or to make such comments on the documents as documents uh, they wish to make. So the ça. question is um, to the uh, OCP, voilà, would you be ready to enfin, proceed to joint criminal enterprise and the role of the accused uh, when we have completed the movements of population and tool portrait? Judge Carr, I thank you. Can I answer that um, with a very simple answer, which is no, but I can I explain non. the position, please? As the trial chamber will know, the requests were made last week to the OCP in respect of the documents presentations that the trial chamber has heard in respect of military structure and the presentation that I'll be giving um, together with my national colleague in respect of force movement one, tool portrait and force movement two. Can I explain, please, Judge Cartwright, that in taking the notice from the court last week to prepare for these documents, a team was established by the OCP to prepare this presentation for this afternoon, which involves, which is not uncommon, I accept, by all counsel in this work, uh, in this court, uh, significant and substantial work. Mais cela Literally from the time notification was given du last week nous avons reçu la through to today, dernière, including substantial work on both Saturday and Sunday to prepare, to prepare this presentation. Can I say this, that the OCP dire. is of course mindful of the time constraints that the court is under. We are mindful of the need for court time to be utilised properly in the presentation of documents to the trial chamber. Uh, we have discussed this very topic that you raised, Judge Cartwright, within OCP over the last few days, Ce dont vous venez de nous parler, Madame and la juge, the position is aussi that we are not able bureau. to present within the time frame uh, that you have suggested, pas but we are certainly willing dans les to start preparation now to present such, um, uh, such a presentation to the trial chamber. But we do ask for some um, forbearance in terms of time. The presentation on the role of the accused is, without a shadow of doubt, the most important documentation that the OCP will present. We, les les can I say this, preparation has already started on this. It is ongoing preparation. I can um, tell the trial chamber even this, that certain of my fellow other counsel have been assigned portions of that presentation. They have started work on the presentation, but um, we do ask for more time. Um, can I please not be tied on what the time request is, as I haven't discussed this with the um, 
uh, the national and international co-prosecutors. I know that uh, they would be willing, I'm sure, to clarify uh, a request effectively for more time tomorrow morning, and I um, can communicate that through to you, Judge Cartwright, tomorrow morning. So, in summary, we are not ready now. We are working on it, but we would very much appreciate some time to properly prepare for this presentation in order that the trial chamber has, um, I hope, a reasonably polished presentation rather than one that is um, prepared in haste. Well, thank you very much for that indication. Uh, this was the purpose of making the inquiry. Um, the, um, the Chamber will await your indications as to uh, how much time you need to be uh, complete in that presentation uh, and will then rule on that aspect. Uh, but what the Chamber has not done as yet uh, is to thank the prosecutors also for the work that they have put in, uh, in being ready for um, uh, the objections to the admissibility of documents and also to the presentation uh, of um, key documents. Uh, we appreciate that we've put a great deal of pressure and we, as with the Insari team, appreciate the effort uh, that you have made. So, for the moment, we will proceed with the presentation of key documents on the movement of population phase one to portray movement of population, um, population um, phase, one, phase two, two followed by the lead co-lawyers and uh, within the next few days following uh, your indication to us of how much more time you need, uh, we will give a, a time frame for the remaining topics. Uh, and then I am uh, reminding defence teams that uh, they have a lot of work ahead of them because we will expect them to be ready to respond and or present their own key documents uh, and sometimes it will be at quite short notice, depending on um, health issues and other matters. Uh, President, I, I, I hope that we have covered everything that you discussed during the afternoon adjournment. Thank you, Judge Cartwright. Defence Council, you may proceed. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Je voulais President. simplement clarifier un point dans mes like déclarations, au cas où euh, je n'aurais pas été clair. Euh, je prends note uh, de la décision de la Chambre de ce jour, simplement peut-être pour expliquer la confusion qu'il y avait dans les esprits But, uh, des équipes de défense. C'est que dans uh, le mémo uh, tel que rappelé par uh, moi-même ce matin et uh, cité par uh, Madame Cartwright aussi, dans le paragraphe 4 de, du mémo E170, la raison pour laquelle nous étions euh, quelque peu perturbés ce matin est que ce type d'audience de documents tel qu'elle avait été présentée dans ce mémo indiquait, au paragraphe 4, cette audience ne concernant pas la recevabilité de documents en vue de leur production devant la Chambre, il n'a pas été prévu de temps de réponse par les autres parties aux documents présentés. C'est sur cette base que nous avons toujours envisagé les audiences de documents. C'est le paragraphe 4 oui, du mémo E170. Il paraît que je parle trop vite, décidément, j'ai vraiment beaucoup de problèmes en ce début de semaine. Je répète la phrase, paragraphe 4 du mémo E170. Cette audience ne concernant pas la recevabilité de documents en vue de leur production devant la Chambre, il n'a pas été prévu de temps de réponse par les autres parties aux documents présentés. C'est comme ça que nous avons toujours envisagé ces audiences de documents et c'est pour ça que nous avons tenu jusqu'à ce jour la position que nous avons tenue. Euh, par contre, et ça je tiens à le rappeler, je l'avais indiqué ce matin, nous avions bien compris que les commentaires étaient ouverts aux accusés eux-mêmes, mais pas à leur équipe de défense. Voilà la précision que je tenais à apporter pour comprendre quelle a été la confusion jusqu'à présent, mais c'est la lecture de vos mémos. Excusez-nous d'y prêter une particulière attention.
President. Le président. I'd like to give the floor to Judge Lavigne so he can respond in French, French to the French speaking council. À la Conseil qui so s'est exprimé en français. Is, uh, Et ce sera sans doute plus facile pour vous de comprendre. Monsieur le Juge Lavergne, vous avez la parole. Oui, monsieur, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je ne suis pas sûr de Thank pouvoir you, euh, répondre. En fait, ce que je voudrais savoir, c'est si maintenant la position de la Chambre est parfaitement claire et comprise par uh, uh, to toutes les sure parties, y compris par uh, uh, la défense de Kyosampan. Including... Bien sûr, aujourd'hui, c'est beaucoup plus clair et c'est uh, complètement différent de ce que nous avons eu dans le mémo. Donc là, maintenant, c'est clair, mais se pose la question des audiences précédentes, puisque notre position était uh, fixée en fonction de ce qu'avait dit uh, la Chambre. Si c'est le cas, nous demandons la possibilité de pouvoir également répondre et présenter aux, aux, aux deux audiences de documents, de présentation des documents clés précédentes. Cela, va, cela coule de source dans notre position. Merci, mais je rappellerai simplement que dans le mémo dont vous faites état, il était dit que chaque fois qu'un document sera présenté par une partie dans le cadre de ces audiences, les accusés pourront, s'ils le souhaitent, formuler des observations par rapport à celui-ci. C'était dit expressément. Donc, c'était peut-être à vous de dire que vous souhaitiez effectivement présenter des observations. What you're saying is that you would like to also je ne veux pas rallonger les débats, mais je pense que notre position a été claire à plusieurs reprises. Excusez-moi, c'est vrai que je n'ai pas fait attention à la traduction. Je dis simplement que notre position a été claire à plusieurs reprises. Il me semble me rappeler que mon confrère Arthur Verken avait indiqué pourquoi nous ne participions à ce, pas à ce type d'audience. Et à ce moment-là, euh, la clarification n'était pas, en tout cas aussi limpide qu'aujourd'hui. Donc, euh, je tiens, c est, c est, il y avait les accusés, effectivement, mais les accusés ont une équipe de défense et nous n'avons pas compris que l'équipe de défense, compte tenu du paragraphe que je viens de lire, était euh, autorisé à faire des observations. Nous avons compris le contraire en fonction de ce paragraphe-là, paragraphe 4, E170. And I'm referring to paragraph 4 of E170. Now we have understood the position of the chamber clearly. President, we only have a short period of time for today's proceeding, so it is appropriate for an early adjournment. We so adjourned today and we will resume tomorrow starting from 9 a.m. May our parties and the public be informed. Security guards are instructed to take the accused in Sari back to the detention facility and have him return to the holding cell downstairs where he can participate remotely with the linking of the audio-visual means before he is now adjourned.